another episode of Lloyd's Just 
much my videos have helped some of you with different things like anxiety, depression, or even just helping you sleep and relax. So, that's awesome. It really is.
it like that. Um, but my my favorite video that I ever made. So 
definitely this a trend of you know fast ASMR or this uh, loud, hard, obnoxious you know stuff. It, it doesn't work for me. Uh, if anything, it uh, it causes me high anxiety. That raises my blood pressure a bit. So yeah, I'm I'm more of a a soft, slow, gentle, you know, style of person. But the other um, thing besides you know watching people clean, uh, I was I was watching EWTN. It's a, uh, a Catholic network, and they were, the uh, the priest was, you know, giving a sermon, and just the way that he talked and turned the pages or adjusted the papers as he spoke. So, I was like, let me look on YouTube and see if there's any, you know, videos like this. And, lo and behold, all this ASMR stuff popped up. So, I watched it for a couple years. And then decided to get back and make my own content. And well, here we are. But yeah, that's uh, that's the whole story of how I got inspired to start my channel. Alright, so next question is by Passaro. Is ASMR your main job? And if so, what could we do to support you more and earn more money from it? Uh, yes, right now, due to medical issues in that. Uh, this is my main job. Um, and what can be done to help support and, and you know, continue that would be, you know, just watch my videos, um, you know, share like, comment, um, you know, things like that. Uh, you know, with YouTube, uh, subscriber count really doesn't help. Well, I mean, it does, in a way. But it doesn't get counted. things that get counted is um, how many views each video gets, how much time each video gets watched, you know, like um, you know, if people watch the whole video then that helps a lot. If they only watch like a minute or two, that really doesn't help me at all. Um, you know, it needs to be more than more than 15 minutes in order to actually you know, help. So you know, there's a there's a lot of things that you know, go into uh, making a video. Successful. Uh, 
there's a thing called a YouTube Studio, which shows me all this information every time I put a video out. It shows me impre you know, click rate, uh, impression rate, uh, views, amount of time that it's watched, uh, things like that. And then it rates each video depending on all this information from 1 to 10. 10 being the worst and 1 being the best. So, if I put out 5 videos and each one of them is 10 out of 10, or 10 videos, and each one's 10 out of 10, and I'm not going to make out with those videos. Now, on the other hand, if each one is, you know, I put one out, it's one out of ten. I put another one out, and that's like two out of ten. I put another video out, it's one out of ten. You know, so on and so forth. Then, I'll make out with those videos. But, you know, if there are anywhere, anywhere from 5 to 10, no good. So, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, little uh, fine print to making out on YouTube. Alright, next question. It's from Triple Nine. Do you use scripts or do you improvise? And what is the ratio of footage we see to footage that got cut for whatever reason? Okay, so, um, when I first started out, I used to write up scripts, but now that I've, you know, become more acquainted and, and used to making videos, it's, it's mostly off the top of my head. I, I just improvise. I go along with it, you know. I might have a couple things, you know, hanging up, like little side notes, but most of the time it's just, you know, going with the flow. Uh, with with a lot of my shops, you know, it's uh, I try to put myself into that shop and actually become the shop owner pretending that there's a customer in front of me so I just go with it and the ratio of footage that you all see towards what gets cut um, you guys see like 98% of the footage. The only thing I really cut out from a video is, well, uh, if a loud noise happens, goes by, if my hernia makes noise, or things like that, but usually I just stop the video when this occurs, and then, you know, continue. So yeah, you guys and gals, uh, you get to see like 98% of what I film. 
Next question is from Rhodes B97. This is kind of a redundant question, but what helps you relax? I'm just being curious. Well, that's a good question, actually. Um, what helps me relax is... You know, uh, just kicking back in a chair, a recliner. Um, bundling up in the winter and watching a movie. thing that helps me relax is getting out in nature and you know and just taking all of that in taking the 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 different scents in um, the different sounds of the birds and and the little critters running about you know as well as the, the, the beauty, the sights of nature, you know. I'm a huge fan of nature, and, and that's my, that's my temple. So, yeah. Next question from Kevin Harvey. What's your favorite memory from when you were growing up? Well, there's, uh, there's a lot, but some of my favorite memories come from growing up with my great-grandparents. Um, I mean, you know, those were the days. and family. Uh, there's, there's 
there's no way I'm going to sit there and, and eat all that stuff. Um, I mean, I probably could when I sit down to watch movies. I'm a bit of a snacker when it comes to watching movies, you know. <laughs> I always have to have a movie snack. But, yeah. Um, you know, it gets, it gets spread around and put to good use. So, next question from Mr. Slappinator. have any job in the world, what would it be and why? Love your videos and keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Slavenier. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that you enjoy my work. Um, if I could have any job in the world, what would it be and why? Um, the best way to answer that would be anything having to do with animals and nature. You know, I absolutely love animals and nature. So, you know, um, a job with such things as Fish and Wildlife Service or uh, U.S. Forestry Service or a veterinarian or well, even a park ranger working in the national parks or something like that, you know, anything like that would would definitely be my my dream job. Um, now something like you know U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, I'd either have to get a degree in law enforcement or something like a wildlife biology degree, which, well, I actually considered working on recently. Uh, you know, I, sh I probably should go for it. Why not? But yeah, that was That would definitely put a, a huge smile on my face, and it would definitely fill an empty space in my soul. So, next question from Anne Drogan. like to know how difficult it is to keep on coming with new ideas and if you have found one style more popular. Well, to answer that question, it's very difficult coming up with new video ideas. Um, Especially when you know you, you don't want to copy other people or anything like that, you know. It, but to, to sit down and come up with a, a video idea that you can incorporate ASMR into is very difficult. style of video on 
my channel that's most popular would be the uh, the diner role plays, but especially the ice cream shop. Yeah, those really, really do well. Next question is from Rorian. Would you consider doing a retro toy store review? Something that might feature old classics from Kenner and the rest. Um, well, I actually did a retro toy store roleplay before. Didn't really get that many views, surprisingly. Um, it was kind of a, a, uh, a Christmas release video. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but but yeah, I had a, a lot of retro toys that I spent a lot of money on. And then afterwards, I put them in the Toys for Tots box. So, but yeah. Um, I wish I could do another one, but the first one just didn't work out too well. So, as expensive as it would be, it's kind of too risky to be making something like that again. Alright, next question is from Zach. ASMR yourself? And if so, how old were you when you became aware of it? Okay, so I do experience ASMR myself. Um, and I when I first experienced it or became aware of it um, well I'd have to say I was in my early 30s when I became aware of it but I'm pretty sure that I've experienced it long before that yeah, yeah, I can guarantee that I experienced it long before that. Because I can remember in, in, uh, in school, uh, encountering, uh, some things that, you know, relaxed me or, or gave me the, the tingles, you know, so. Yeah. Okay, next question from Chica Sapiens. Just a random question. Which is your favorite song? Do you have a favorite band or artist? Well, I wouldn't say that I have a favorite song because I've actually got a lot of favorite songs that I, I you know, love to listen to. But as far as bands go, well, it's a long, surprising list, but to 
to name a few. I like Pink Floyd. Um, I like Tool. Uh, bands like Godsmack, Rob Zombie, Disturbed, Some Corn, uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Let's see. Mud vein. Uh, and that's just uh, some of the more hardcore bands, just to name a few. Um, now, some of the more softer bands. Um, you know, my go tos are like Mumford and Sons. Huron. Uh, let's see who else. Vance Joy. Um, uh, the Killers. Um, Junip. Blue October. Sam, you see, two thousand. 
then, you know, being thorough, we listened to the recording. And, well, surprise, we caught something. And it was her voice. It was the deceased mother's voice. Yelling her daughter's name. Like she wanted something. And, you know, it was unmistakable. You can, you cannot, you know, mistake this for anything. It was 100% the mother's voice. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty intense. Okay, moving on to the next question. Now, the Tech 86 asks, do you have a favorite sports team that you like to watch? Um, I don't watch them as much as I should, but I'm a New York Giants and Philadelphia Eagles fan, but yeah, football is probably my go-to sport. Uh, next question from Mina AA. Have you ever tried cross-country skiing? Uh, no, I have not, but it sounds like it would be really fun. So, yeah, I'd love to try something like that. I never tried snowboarding either, but I, I'm, like, really interested in snowboarding. Uh, next question from NRU Cody Ghostface. Have you ever thought about doing a ghost face ASMR? Um, now do you mean ghost face from the movie Scream? Or do you mean the ghost face from Call of Duty? So I've already done the Call of Duty one. Um, now as for ghost face from Scream, uh, well, that would be, that'd be interesting. I'm not sure how I'd incorporate that into ASMR, but I could probably come up with something. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you meant. Alright, well, on to the next Sarah Lake asks, what is your life motto? <laughs> well, I'd have to say my life motto is... Yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. And, you know, you only live once. So, make the best of it. Because, you know, I mean, none of us, you know, know from day to day you know, when the last day will be or how long we, we have, you know. So, live your life to the fullest. And don't waste time on, you know, on the small things that, you know, that drag you down and which, you know, can happen a lot these days. Reading the news and Seeing all the horrible things that are going on in this world right now, it can it can really bring a person down. 
So, you know, like, like I said, try to, you know, try not to, the negative stuff because you know it, it'll just affect your mood and it could it could tend to ruin your entire day so yeah leave all that negative stuff out of there and just live next question Andy Garcia asks, do you have pets? Uh, I do. I have had quite a few pets in my life. Anything from snakes, uh, hamsters, cats, and Currently, uh, a dog named Zaggy. He's a French bulldog mixed with a pug, <laughs> and he's uh, he's precious. He really is. And the next question he asks: What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal. See it on my bookshelf behind me is the wolf. I've always loved wolves. So yeah, that's that's definitely my favorite animal. Besides dinosaurs, of course, and uh, and I'd also have to say reptiles, snakes. Alligators, crocodiles, etc. Amphibians still. Frogs, salamanders. But yeah, favorite animal, wolves. Next question from Maria Jose Nicole. Hello, have you ever been in Latin America? Where do you like to go? Um, I have never been to anywhere in Latin America. Um, although I would love, absolutely love to visit Costa Rica. Uh, there was a time where it came really close uh, for me to go to Costa Rica. I was planning on going to volunteer or work at a wildlife sanctuary down there called Rainsong. Um, that, that would have been really, really amazing. in life happened and and I uh, you know unfortunately uh, called it quits with that plan but yeah next question is from quasi quopter what's the Geographical location of Floydville. Is it in the States? And what's the Floydville political climate like? Um, so, Floydville is kind of set in the West. I'd say, you know, 
Montana, all the way down to Texas, you know, in that range. Uh, maybe in the Colorado area, Nevada, Utah, you know, things like that. Wyoming. It's somewhere out there. And the political climate. Um, you know, it, uh, it really doesn't have much of a
like that. Um, I think it would be really neat and, uh, and quite an experience. Because, I mean, you know, with the videos that I make, you know, I can, I can definitely really get into a role pretty good. Uh, I have no problem with that. You know, I just, I set it in my mind. It's almost like a switch. You know, I, I switch my, my mind to getting out of my reality and into this character's reality, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, but I would definitely love to uh, maybe land a role on a, a TV show or, or a movie or, or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, everyone. Um, that is all the questions that we have, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you who participated. You all had such great questions, so, yeah, a huge thank you to each and every one of you. Um, I hope that all of you watching I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you could uh, maybe learn something new about Lloyd. Um, yeah, maybe find it uh, even a bit entertaining. But of course, I hope that you could find it relaxing. This is Lloyd's ASMR signing off. Stay safe. Happy. Healthy.